Hello from Who Died Today America, and welcome back to our channel. In the past few days, we have received somber news about the passing of extraordinary talents. Today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. Additionally, we will recap the stars whom we have recently lost. Before we begin, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Mandisa Hundley, beloved Christian music artist and American Idol alum, passed away at her home in Nashville, Tennessee, on April 18th at the age of 47. Known simply as Mandisa, her life and music deeply touched fans around the world, transcending the boundaries of music to deliver a message of hope and faith. Rising to fame on season five of American Idol, where she finished in the top 10, Mandisa quickly captured the hearts of viewers with her powerful voice and radiant personality. Her musical journey was marked by her profound spirituality and her willingness to use her platform to share her faith openly. Her debut album, True Beauty, resonated with many, leading to a successful career highlighted by her Grammy-winning 2013 album, Overcomer, which provided inspiration to countless listeners facing their own challenges. Mendisa's openness about her own struggles endeared her to many, making her not just a voice on a stage, but a friend to those in need. K-Love, a Christian rock radio station, praised her for her epic kindness, electric smile, and the sincerity with which she approached both her career and her personal battles. Beyond her music, Mandisa's legacy is defined by her genuine love for people and her unshakable commitment to her faith. She used every opportunity to discuss her beliefs and encourage others, regardless of the platform or audience size. Her influence extended well beyond her music, impacting the lives of those who heard her speak or sing. As the details of her passing are still unknown, Mandisa is remembered for the light and joy she brought into the world and the powerful message of faith that defined her career. Her impact on Christian music and her ability to inspire through her life and lyrics will continue to resonate with those she touched. Dickie Betts, the iconic co-founder of the Allman Brothers Band and legendary guitarist, passed away at his home in Florida on April 11th at the age of 80. He had been battling cancer and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, his manager David Spiro confirmed. A rock and roll hall of famer, Betts was instrumental in creating the Southern rock genre, leaving an indelible mark on the music industry. He introduced a new level of guitar harmony and counterpoint alongside Dwayne Allman, which revolutionized how rock guitarists collaborated. Following Allman's tragic death in 1971, Betts assumed a central role in the band, guiding it through its most commercially successful period in the 1970s. Betts was the brilliant mind behind Ramblin' Man, the Allman Brothers' biggest hit, and composed beloved instrumentals like In Memory of Elizabeth Reed and Jessica, the latter of which became a staple on classic rock radio and the theme for the TV show Top Gear. His influence extended beyond the Allman Brothers' band, Betts's solo career and his projects, such as Great Southern, showcased his formidable talent and continued his legacy of pioneering music that blended rock, country, and blues. His guitar work and songwriting remained influential, inspiring generations of musicians and music lovers. Dickie Betts's music transcended the notes he played, embodying the spirit of innovation and Southern heritage. As we remember Betts, we celebrate not just the music, but the man who, with a guitar in hand, brought joy, reflection, and an unmistakable sound that will echo through the ages. His legacy is not only in the songs he leaves behind, but in the impact he made on music and the hearts he touched along the way. Rico Wade, the influential Atlanta-based producer and a pivotal figure in shaping the sound of Southern hip hop, passed away at the age of 52. News of his passing was shared by rap legend Killer Mike, who expressed his gratitude for Wade's role in bringing him into the musical collective The Dungeon Family. 
Wade was renowned for co-founding Organized Noise, a production trio alongside Ray Murray and Sleepy Brown. Their work left an indelible mark on the music industry, producing iconic tracks such as Outkast's Southern Playalistic Adillac Music, TLC's Waterfalls, and Ludacris's Saturday. Their contributions to the soundtrack of the 1996 film Set It Off further cemented their status in music history. Beyond his production achievements, Wade's legacy includes the founding of the Dungeon Family, a collective that nurtured the talents of artists like CeeLo Green, Big Boy, and many others, giving them a platform to shine. Big Boy himself has stated that without Wade's influence, Outkast might never have existed, highlighting the monumental impact Wade had on the genre. As the music community mourns his loss, Figures like CeeLo Green and members of 3-6 Mafia have expressed their condolences, reflecting the deep respect and admiration Wade garnered throughout his career. His passing leaves a void in the music world, but his groundbreaking work and the artists he inspired will continue to honor his memory. Rico Wade's vision and creativity reshaped not just Southern rap, but the entire landscape of hip-hop making him a true pioneer of the genre. Barbara O. Jones, known for her captivating performances in groundbreaking films, passed away peacefully at her home in Ohio on April 16th at the age of 82. Born in December 1941 in Dayton, Barbara, also known as Barbara o, emerged as a significant figure in the LA Rebellion a movement that reshaped African-American cinema by embracing the lives and aspirations of its community through the lens of young black filmmakers from UCLA. Her memorable roles in Haile Jarama's films such as The Activist in Child of Resistance and the lead in Bush Mama showcased her profound ability to convey the struggles and resilience of her characters. Her portrayal of Yellow Mary in Julie Dash's Daughters of the Dust remains a standout performance depicting a complex woman grappling with her past and future amidst the rich cultural backdrop of the Gullah community. Barbara's film debut in Black Chariot in 1971 marked the beginning of a versatile career that spanned decades, including her role alongside Muhammad Ali in the TV miniseries Freedom Road. Her talent graced not only films but also television, appearing in episodes of Laverne and Shirley, Wonder Woman, and Lou Grant. Her later works, such as Mute Love and Mangamizi, The Ancient One, further displayed her range and commitment to telling powerful stories. Barbara's legacy in film and television is distinguished by her unwavering dedication to exploring and expressing the African-American experience with authenticity and passion. As we remember Barbara O. Jones, we celebrate not just her artistic achievements, but her influence on a generation of filmmakers and audiences. Her contributions to cinema will continue to inspire and resonate, capturing the spirit of a woman whose performances were as impactful as the narratives she helped bring to life. Louis Gossett Jr., who passed away at the age of 87, was a monumental figure in American film and television. He died in a rehabilitation center in Santa Monica, California, leaving behind a legacy of groundbreaking performances and a career that broke barriers for African-American actors. Gossett made his mark early with his stage debut at age 17 and quickly found himself on Broadway. His role in Take a Giant Step marked the beginning of a storied career, which saw him shine in productions like A Raisin in the Sun and on the big screen in films such as An Officer and a Gentleman, for which he won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, becoming the first African-American to win in this category. His unforgettable performance in the landmark miniseries Roots won him an Emmy, embodying the resilience and suffering of his character with profound depth and humanity. His roles often depicted a dignified, strong character persona that resonated with audiences and critics alike, making him a beloved figure in Hollywood and beyond. Gossett's influence extended beyond his film and television roles. He was a champion for civil rights and used his platform to advocate for racial equality in the arts. His career not only paved the way for future generations of actors, but also enriched the cultural tapestry of America. 
His presence on screen was powerful and inspiring, making him not only a celebrated actor, but also a cherished role model. As the film and television industry mourns his loss, Louis Gossett Jr.'s legacy will undoubtedly endure, remembered for his immense talent and the path he blazed for those who followed. Robin Bernard, who passed away at the age of 64, was an American actress remembered for her engaging performances in television during the 1980s and 1990s. Bernard, born on May 26, 1959 in Gladewater, Texas, carved out a notable career that began with small roles but soon led to more significant parts, showcasing her range and dedication to her craft. Her most memorable role was as Terry Brock on the beloved soap opera General Hospital from 1984 to 1990, where she became a familiar face to millions of viewers. Bernard's portrayal of Terry brought depth and charm to the series, making her a favorite among fans. Her career also included appearances in shows like Simon & Simon, Wiz Kids, and The Facts of Life, as well as the film Voices from the High School, which was her last credit in 2002. Off-screen, Robin was known for her warm personality and dedication to her family, including her sister, singer, and actress, Crystal Bernard. She was deeply rooted in her Texan heritage, proud of her beginnings in Gladewater, and cherished by her community in Spring High School, where she was celebrated as homecoming queen before studying at Baylor University. Though her life ended in a peaceful and undisturbed manner in a field in San Jacinto, California, the legacy of Robin Bernard's contributions to television and her impact on those she encountered will continue to resonate. Her work remains a testament to her talent and passion for acting, marking her as a memorable part of television history. Breaking news of the day. News 1. TV chef James Martin, the beloved host of James Martin's Saturday Morning, has shared a positive health update following his recent surgery for facial cancer. Speaking on ITV's Lorraine, Martin revealed that his stitches have now fallen out and he's been given the all clear. As we speak, the stitches have fallen out of my body at the moment and that's all clear. Onwards and upwards, he enthusiastically told the audience. Martin first publicly disclosed his cancer diagnosis last year, amidst a turbulent period marked by personal challenges, including the death of his grandfather and a distressing burglary at his home. These events culminated in a leaked audio tape that captured Martin in a moment of frustration, for which he later apologized, citing the immense pressure and emotional toll of his health and personal crises. Now, with cancer surgery behind him, Martin remains focused on the future, continuing to film his popular show from his Hampshire home, where he welcomes a variety of celebrity guests. His resilience and candidness about his health struggles have resonated with fans, who continue to support the chef as he moves forward with renewed vigor. News 2. Beverly LaHaye, a prominent American Christian conservative activist and author, passed away at the age of 94 in El Cajon, California, on April 14th. LaHaye, widely recognized as the founder of Concerned Women for America in 1979, was a pivotal figure in the Christian conservative movement and the wife of the late Tim LaHaye, an evangelical Christian minister and co-author of the best-selling Left Behind series. Born Beverly Jean Davenport in Detroit, Michigan. In 1929, she faced early adversity with the death of her biological father and the subsequent remarriage of her mother. She moved to San Diego in 1956, where her husband became the pastor of Scott Memorial Baptist Church, and she served as the church secretary. LaHaye's influence extended into politics, with former President Ronald Reagan crediting her with changing the face of American politics. Her legacy includes not only her activism, but also her authorship of several books, including The Act of Marriage, co-authored with her husband in 1976, and her role in establishing CWA as a counterpoint to the feminist movement of the time, advocating for what she saw as traditional family values. LaHaye leaves behind a family of four children and nine grandchildren, along with a lasting impact on American social and political life.